Welcome to 247 News Flash. In this edition, the Ghana Police Service, in a collaboration with the Department of Social Welfare, have rescued nine traffic victims from Yeji in the Pru East district of the Buni East region. The joint operation rescued four adult men and five boys from exploitation on the portion of the Volta Lake in Yeji. The victims were trafficked 20 years ago and were said to have been brought to work on the lake at ages 3 and 5 respectively. Cabinet has set up a five-member ministerial committee to investigate the high prices of food items in the country in order to advise the government on actions to take to level of prices. The committee of cabinet's ranked ministers is to investigate and propose solutions for the pricing of food items to ease the burden on consumers. Leaders in the business community have charged Ghana's youth to differentiate themselves as they seek to stand out in the job market. According to the government statistician, Professor Samuel Kobina Enim, the unemployment rate among the population aged 15 years and above was 13.4% and higher for females with 15.5% and 11.6% for males. The National Health Students Association of Ghana will today, Monday, June 27, 2022, begin the strike to press home its demand for allowance arrests owed its members since September 2021. According to the association, the strike has become necessary due to the lack of commitment by government in paying stipends to its members for the last 10 months. In business, the Ghana Chamber of Bulk Oil Distributors has called on other players in the foreign exchange supply markets to step up their efforts to ensure the demand for US dollars for bulk distributing companies is met. This, according to the CEO of the Chamber, Senor Usi, is important as the quantum of US dollars supplied by the Bank of Ghana has dropped drastically. The Bank of Ghana and the Cyber Security Authority have agreed to improve collaboration and timely information flow to facilitate incident reporting and information sharing on cyber security issues. The two institutions have also committed to collaborate more closely on cyber and information security related matters. On the global front, the UK, US, Canada, Japan will ban imports of Russian gold in an effort to hit Moscow's ability to fund the war in Ukraine. Gold exports were worth 12.6 billion pounds to Russia in 2021, and the UK says their importance has increased since the invasion has only gushed rush to buy billion to avoid sanctions. At least four people have been killed and more than 300 were injured after a stand collapsed during a bullfight in central Colombia. Footage shows the three-story wooden stand filled with spectators falling at a stadium in El Espanil, Tolima Department. In sport, 27-year-old Sharika Jackson clocked 21.55 seconds to complete the sprint double in Kingston, having won the 100 meter on Friday, becoming the third fastest woman's 200 meters of all time at Jamaica's World Championships trials. Olympic champion Ellen Thompson Hera was second in 22.05 with Sally Han Fraser Press third in 22.14. German side Borussia Dortmund have completed the signing of young left back Prince Zenin, who will play for the under 23s next season. After months of negotiation, Dortmund have finally secured the signing of Prince Zenin for Mayas. The young left back joins BVB on a four year contract. In entertainment, Nigerian singer Thames made history Sunday night at the Microsoft Theatre in Los Angeles after becoming the first female Nigerian act to win a BET award. The musician won Best International Act Award at the 2022 BET Awards. She also won Best Collaboration with Whiskey and Justin Bieber for the single Essence. Finally, rapper Kendrick Lamar has ended his Glastonbury headline set with a powerful protest at the rollback of abortion rights in the U.S. 
with blood pouring down his face from a crown of thorns the star proclaim god speed for women's rights they judge you they judge christ he repeated the phrase over and over throwing his microphone to the ground before walking off the stage this is all for today's news update on two